Uh, my name is Lisa Jacobs, and I'm a surgical oncologist at Johns Hopkins University and Howard County General Hospital. I take care of breast cancer or diseases of the breast and melanoma. If you present with a lump or an abnormality that we can feel or you've had a change in the breast, well, we would generally first do imaging. We would do mammography and ultrasound and see if we can see the abnormality. If we don't see the abnormality with mammography or ultrasound and by feel it seems like a suspicious abnormality, then we would just do a needle biopsy by feeling the lump and then putting the needle in by feeling the lump. That's not it's about a 97% accuracy of that biopsy. The accuracy of doing a biopsy by using imaging with either ultrasound or mammography is about 98 to 99%. So if we can see something by mammography and ultrasound that corresponds to that abnormality that we can feel, then we will do the biopsy using mammography and ultrasound because of the improved ability to detect abnormalities. Um, on areas that we cannot feel a lump or areas where we just use the imaging, it depends on what imaging study identified the abnormality. So if it's an ultrasound, that's a more comfortable biopsy where you are laying on your back, slightly rolled up on your side, your breast is not in compression like it is on mammography. And if we can see an abnormality with ultrasound, we will do a biopsy that way. If we cannot see an abnormality with ultrasound, and it's only one that we can see on mammography, then we do a biopsy called a stereotactic biopsy, which is done with mammography. Now that biopsy is done by laying on a table on your stomach with your breast through a hole in the table and then in compression with, mammog with a mammography machine. And then there's a computer targeting of the lesion and then of the abnormality. And then you, the biopsy, you numb it up again, make a nick in the skin, and then the machine fires the needle into the um, breast to uh, biopsy the proper area. That's called a stereotactic biopsy. That's probably our least comfortable of all the biopsies, but it's still just a needle biopsy. It doesn't involve an it's local anesthesia only. You can leave that day. I would generally tell people not to go back to work that day because you're still a little sore though. At Howard County General Hospital, I schedule the biopsies to be done by the radiologist and then I see the person two days or three days afterward to give them the pathology results. Many times that's the first time I've met the patient and so I want to meet them, talk to them, make sure that the proper area was biopsied give them the pathology results, and I can then cover any recommended treatments or options on what needs to be done after that.